Hello everyone, check out the latest LCD projector that I have. Wombo T2 Max by Xiaomi Eco Change. A mini portable 1080p projector with Android 6 built-in. Loaded with 200 ANSYS lumens, 2000 to 1 contrast ratio, 20,000 LED lens life and 2 3W speakers. Come with useful electronic 4D keystone correction too. Alright, let's have a closer look at it. Build quality is excellent with sturdy ABX plastic housing. Stylish in design too. Much smaller than the usual standard projector. Portable with less than 1kg in weight. Is to carry around, no doubt. There are multi-layer coated glass main lens and IR receiver in front of the projector. Hissing with fan at the bottom as air outlet. There are power button and manual focus adjustment wheel at the top. No hard vertical keystone adjustment can be found. Two 3 watt speakers on both left and right. They support surround and SRS EQ. DC input, USB 2 port, HDMI port, LED light indicator and headphone jack output are located at the back. Another set of hissing with fan at the bottom as air inlet. 4 NT skip pad at the bottom to provide stability and a standard camera mount hole for stand or ceiling mount. As for included accessory, there are IR remote control for navigation. Even if it is infrared one, it performs almost like Bluetooth. I can control the projector in any direction easily. Followed by an AC adapter. It supports 100 to 240 volt for worldwide usage and with 57 watt total power output. Here is the power cable with EU plug. You can change it easily to suit your country. Finally, a useful manual to let you get started in no time. T2 Max supports screen size from 30 inch to 200 inch. It can be used during the day, but you need to keep the screen as small as possible. 200 ANSYS lumen is not bright enough. Larger display can be projected in a totally dark room. This is the way that T2 Max should be used. Keep it below 60 inch for best performance, else anti-light screen is needed. Let's have a look at the HDMI performance first. Outstanding optical image quality, even with just 3.5 inch LCD display panel. The multi-layer coated glass lens must have helped too. Don't forget that it is a fully enclosed optical machine that frees from dust. Just like other budget LCD projector, color calibration is needed to get the best result. Colors are great for a 45% NTSC panel not 100% sRGB that I hope for, so you won't get vivid colors when compared to those which support it. Text performance is outstanding. You can use it to surf the internet or present PowerPoint to your group member during the work. Totally dark room of course. Texts are very clear as you can see. Yes, it passed the extreme test with flying colors. Most budget projectors suffer from corners blurriness. T2 Max corners are perfect in focus. Best in class, I must say. Pixel performance is excellent too. All three main refresh rates are supported through HDMI. 24Hz video playback is decent. Same apply to 50Hz. It is performing well too. 60Hz is the best with perfectly smooth playback. Great for fast-paced action games indeed. Alright, check out this 24Hz video. T2 Max is performing very well on both highlight and shadows. Excellent contrast as you can see. Sixty hertz performance is ultra smooth with this four K sixty frame per second video. 
all budget projectors should perform like this. Fifty hertz is performing great. Enjoy all your Chinese TV dramas all day long. Great for gaming? A bit yes. T2 Max performs very well in the input lag test. FYI, this video clip is 5x lower than the usual one. You won't notice input lag at all in fast paid action games. Perfectly smooth 60Hz help too. As for smoothness, Pingball is used to test projector gaming ability. Just check out the ball movement. Smooth or not? You tell me. As usual, the game sound is coming up from the internal speakers directly. Decent sound for a budget projector. Alright, that's all for HDMI port performance. Let's check out Android 6 now. Personally, I don't prefer it as it is really old. And it is not Android TV which is more suitable for remote control usage. Nonetheless, it is working. But not up to my expectation on today's standard. The current global firmware has a big issue. Shuttling video playback with zoom function enabled. You can forget about the electronic 4-way keystone correction. Basically, it is useless when enabled. You can turn off zoom function through China firmware launcher and can access Google Play Store there too. Not sure why global firmware didn't display it and show custom store instead. Connectivity performance is average at best with 2.4 gig support only. Do force 40 max channel bandwidth in your wireless router, else performance will be half. As of Bluetooth, it is stable, but wireless mirroring is not working. Firmware issue? A lot of video calibrations can be done in both Android and HDMI mode. Do take note that this color setting affects video only in Android mode. It does not reflect on normal GUI and image apps. As usual, take your time to configure them. Out of the box settings are not the best, but that's normal for budget projector. Alright, this is video playback performance on Android. 
24Hz video playback is shuttering. 50Hz is decent with micro shuttering. 60Hz is the best among all but still not perfectly smooth playback like HDMI mode. The back stuff does not end here. It has frame drop issue even on 1080p YouTube video playback. Hopefully, it is just a firmware issue that can be fixed. Netflix supports SD format only. Don't expect Full HD video playback on non-certified device. And mouse is required as this is non-Android TV version. Do take note. You can use Kodi or any other media player to play USB hard drive content. It is Android projector after all. Share all your precious photo with friends and family members easily. In fact, Android OS has better image quality than HDMI port. The built-in 3W speakers are decent. Hear them yourself. Lastly, fan noise level is great for budget projector. You won't notice it at all during music or movie playback. As for gaming, it is okay for casual games. Do use your own game console like PS5. 60Hz is perfect for it. Well, that's all for OnePort T2 Max review. A nice portable Android projector for the price. It has outstanding optical image quality and great for HDMI usage. As usual, to check out my top projector chart, you might find one that suits your needs there. And please use my referral link to shop to support my effort. Don't forget to thumb up too. Thanks. I'm Jace. Glad to see you around. Peace.